Alright, well, I uh, already did this, but I just wanted to make a quick video to show my f people. I don't know. Well, I did. Um, I screwed up, but oh well. It's, it's there. It's one eighth of an inch, or three eighths of an inch from the pocket. I didn't check it after I did it. But, yep. It's three eighths. Well, maybe. It's a little bit further down, but oh well. I tried. I lowered it though. And it's not quite it's like one sixteenth of an inch off. I hope that doesn't matter. But. It's crooked, as you can tell. It's kind of like slanted. So I screwed up on that. But, um, there's a button that was missing. And I sewed the button on. Took it from the bottom. You know, the spare one. I don't think there's... No, there is one that's missing down here. But my son's short enough. He tucks it in all the way to here. So it doesn't really matter yet. But eventually it will. I'll have to get more buttons from the place. I don't know. Anyways, that's what I've just been doing today. Um, well, tonight, rather. And I got it done. I think it looks better than it's looked since we got it. So, I already did the... If you notice, my son's, uh... 420. Yay. <laughs> That's his troop. Or, I guess it's called pack, not troop. But, anyways. I'm used to Girl Scouts troops, you know. But, anyway. I sewed the numbers together, which helped a lot. You know. Then I sewed around with a zigzag stitch. I used the zigzag stitch. I don't know if I can show you. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's see. See if you can see this or not. It's a zigzag stitch. That one. And I put it on one. Just a little bit over one. Like this is a singer electronic if that matters. And the tension was um there. And it seemed to do alright. And then stitch width, I put it between it's almost halfway between the double needled one and that one. So it's like right there. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know if you need to know that stuff anyways. Um, I also used it on the on this one. What I did was I straddled, you know, the, the line like right in the middle of the all the way around. And I made it go left and then, you know, back and forth over, and that, if it landed on top of it, I would move the fabric. And whenever adjusting, it looks, looks good, but, um, anyways, the bobbin has to match the color of the uniform, and the spool on the top has to match what color you're sewing onto. So, that's important. Anyways, that's, that's pretty much what I did as far as sewing this um, uniform. I'm excited that he's a, he's into uh, into it. So. 
But anyways, um, thought I might give you an update on me. Um, my food allergies are gone. And it's probably, I think I already updated about that. Um, mood wise, I uh, ended up in the hospital for, um, from Sunday to Thursday a while back because of the pain in my stomach from the IBS which is not where you shit yourself all this freaking time so get that out of your head right now so anyways um it's where you go from one extreme to the other in your stomach cramps whenever you eat certain foods and stuff okay so that's not my allergies it's IBS okay so they're throwing me into that catch-all. Great. Anyways, um, I was hurting so bad. I mean, I was ready to freaking die. And I told them that. I said, if you don't figure out what's wrong or treat my pain or, you know, relieve me of this pain, I'm going to go kill myself. And that, of course, got me a straight ticket into the psych unit. And, yeah, that was fun. Um very interesting people that I met in there anyways I don't want to bore you but um they put me on Haldol which is a very heavy duty um antipsychotic which is weird but um yeah gotta do what you gotta do I guess um I'm only on one milligram and I've been I took half of one today for during the day to see if it would help diminish that quad, you know, that I feel so tired on it, which is normal, but eventually I'll be used to it and it won't give me that effect anymore. But right now it makes me very tired, so that's fun. I got new braces, they're black, well, they're orange every other and then every other to that is yellow and black. I've got lovebirds. You can hear them. Um, they're gonna go away Friday. Friday they're gonna, the lady's gonna come pick them up and then I'm gonna get a cockatiel in four weeks or so. A baby one. So I'm excited about that. Yay. Um, cause I can actually handle those, that one. These, they won't let me handle them they were bred and yeah they're it's just a bummer but I got a really awesome cage I think I showed you the cage on a video that I uploaded but anyways this is like running long it's eight minutes long already um so any questions drop them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can as far as um how I'm doing if you want to know specifics um guess that's it. So, see you later. Thanks for stopping by and seeing me. Um, I'm doing better. I just am really tired tonight. So, anyways, I got my hair colored and trimmed. I got two inches off. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do some how-to videos on my hair someday. I don't know when. I really need to work on my house first. <laughs> And then um, the CDs also do a how-to video on how to mount your CDs because um, I've seen a few of them and that ticky-tack tears up my walls. So anyways, bye.